And now, Comedy Masterclass presents The Four Yorkshiremen. Ah, very possible that, very possible indeed. Now, you can't beat a good glass of Chateau de Chasselet. Yeah. Jesus has just come in. <laughs> Aye. Who would have thought 40 years ago we'd have been sitting here drinking Chateau de Chasselet? <laughs> Turns. Aye. In them days, we were glad to have the price of a cup of tea. Cold cup of tea. Uh, without milk or sugar. Or tea. Or Hermes Sweeters. <laughs> or Caniston. Do you know what? We were so poor we couldn't afford a cup. We used to drink our dear out of a passing Turk's slipper. <laughs> the best thing that we could do was to suck on a damp rat. Aye, but you know, we were happy in t them days, weren't we? Even though we were t poor. Because we were poor. Aye. My old dad used to say to me, money cannot buy you a nuclear radar system. <laughs> you know, we used to live in a, in a tiny little tumble-down old house with holes in roof. A house? You were lucky to have a house. Aye. We used to live in one room, 26 of us. No furniture and half the floor was missing. You were lucky to have a room. We used to live in t the corridor. <laughs> oh, we used to dream of living in a corridor. <laughs> It would have been a palace to us. We lived in an old water tank in a rubbish tip. We got woke up every morning by having a load of Turk slippers dumped all over us. Well, when I say we're out, it were more like a hole in ground. We had dirty, rotten old tea towels. We had a picture of the Yorkshire Terrier eating a macadamia nut, dropped by a passing hankel. We were evicted from our hankel. <laughs> we had to go and live in the lake. You were lucky to live in t the lake. There were 150 of us living in Happy Meal box in the middle of t the motorway. Is that a cardboard Happy Meal box? Aye, they're all made of cardboard, aye. Aye, you are lucky. <laughs> we lived for three months in a rolled-up corpse in a septic tank. <laughs> we used to have to wake up at six o'clock in the morning, get up, unravel the corpse, eat a crust of stale bread, go to work down mill, 14 hours a day, week in, week out, for sixpence a month. And when we got home, our dad would thrash us to sleep with his willy. <laughs> Luxury. <laughs> we used to have to get up out of the lake at 3 a.m., eat a handful of hot gravel, and then work 20 hours a day at the mill for tuppence a month. And then Dad would beat us about the head and the neck with a broken bottle, if we were lucky. Aye, well, of course, we had it tough. <laughs> we used to have to get up in t the middle of the night, lick the motorway clean with tongues from junction 1 to 19, including slipways. <laughs> then, after a meal of our own shit, <laughs> We'd go down the mine, I mean, not the mine, 
a bit now. We'd go down t the mill, aye, work 24 hours a day, seven days t the week, for fourpence every six years, and when we come home, our dad would slice us in two with bread knife. <laughs> right! <laughs> I used to get up at half past ten at night in the morning, half an hour before I went to sleep, <laughs> eat a pile of hot steaming poisonous magma, <laughs> go to work at a mill for 28 hours a day, and pay mill owner for privilege of learning his work there. And when we got home at night, our father would murder us in cold blood mind. <laughs> ah, but then, he'd murder us in cold blood, bury us and dance on our graves singing, yes sir, I can boogie. <laughs> And you try telling the young people of today that, and they'll be highly sceptical.